So this Amp and Zolt kit is actually pretty legit. It's from New Concepts on Amazon. It wasn't too cheap, but the reason I got it is because it's really hard to find good power wire. This one, if you can see it, it says OFC, oxygen free copper, instead of the copper clad aluminum, which will break down over time. Plus the jacket isn't 90% of the wire, so it's like the gauge is accurate, hopefully. But the ground is also oxygen free copper. It comes with a wire loom, the inline fuse, the actual fuse. It's a 60 amp, I'm probably gonna try to find a smaller one because that's excessive anyway. But it comes with all the ring terminals and the spades. Two different, a plastic grommet and a rubber grommet for passing through the body, the power wire. I mean, it's pretty decent. We'll see how it actually works, but so far it looks pretty good. Right, so we gotta get the battery wires through somewhere underneath the truck, up, up I, don't know, I don't know where they have it. It's gonna be in the glove box of the amp, so somewhere over here. And I don't really know where I'm gonna run the wires yet. Plus, I wanna relocate these wires, so I'll probably do that at the same time, bring them both up together. Yeah. Got the wires that were sitting right there on top of the tunnel tucked in. You see there's a grommet there and on the other side behind the uh, heater core pipes. You tuck in, go underneath the tunnel. They come out and we're over here. I had to extend some of them so that I have enough slack to go around. Comes inside the, uh, the hollow section of the body right here. And it pops out back there. Nice and clean, so you won't see any wires once I get the uh, the cover back on that bad boy, which is awesome. Got the power ran for the amp. Comes up from the bottom. Again, nothing in the foot wells. Um, next is to figure out how to get that little amp to sit in the glove box without just bouncing around which is complicated a little bit because the glove box has weird curvature to it. But I gotta figure out a way to mount it, make it somewhat removable in case I need to pull the glove box out to get to the air box. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Got the dash back in after we I ran all the speaker wires and power wires and everything that I need for the radio and the amplifier. And I put the harness for the new radio Splice into the old one. Took a little tip from old Jimmy Oaks. Thanks, buddy. Used the connector out of the old radio. And just kind of unsoldered it and put it on the original clip so that we're not cutting into any wires, just in case. So everything's all set here. But now i got to mock up the radio. And even though it's a single DIN unit, the way that the old one works is that it's mounted to like this inner structure before the cover goes on. And, of course, the radio is too big for the hole. So I either got to shave it or... I don't know, get creative. So in the meantime, I took all these little body clips off of this cover so I can keep fitting it to try to get this alignment right. And we gotta somehow get this faceplate, which of course is not just like a trim ring. The whole faceplate is one piece. Gotta either trim it down or find a way to get it to fit behind that part of the dash. Probably just gonna cut it. It was only like a fifteen dollar radio anyway. Screw it.
clean. That's how we do it. Got the dash back in after we I ran all the speaker wires and power wires and everything that I need for the radio and the amplifier. And I put the harness for the new radio, spliced into the old one. Took a little tip from oh, Jimmy Oaks. Thanks, buddy. Used the connector out of the old radio and just kind of unsoldered it and put it on the original clip so that we're not cutting into any wires, just in case. So everything's all set here, but now I got to mock up the radio. And even though it's a single DIN unit, the way that the old one works is that it's mounted to like this inner structure before the cover goes on. And of course, the radio is too big for the hole. So I either got to shave it or, I don't know, get creative. So in the meantime, I took all these little body clips off of this cover so I can keep fitting it to try to get this alignment right. And we got to somehow get this faceplate which of course is not just like a trim ring the whole faceplate is one piece gotta either trim it down or find a way to get it to fit behind that part of the dash probably just gonna cut it it was only like a $15 radio anyway screw it all right I changed my mind I ended up mounting the radio to the uh, cover whatever this is but I had to uh, shrink the bracket a little bit throw some ugly booger welds on it because i don't even know what kind of steel this is but it fits now it's in there and hopefully it'll still fit with the uh, storage bin underneath it it's gonna be tight but it should be fine let's find out tube I could find was 5 16 wall. I think it's freaking massive. So much for weight savings. But it'll get the job done and it's going to be strong so I don't have to worry about ripping my steering wheel off. That's always a plus. I mean, it looks straight. It should be fine. It's a little warm though. I'm gonna let that cool off. Alright so working on the steering hub. I cut the piece as straight as I could. It came out pretty good. Uh, wedged the old steering wheel center. There's the wheel. Center piece with the splines and all that in there. Trying to get it level so that when the wheel's spinning, it's not like wobbling. So I got, I'll line that up a little bit. Right there, stick a nut on it. I got the front end of the truck off the ground so I can turn the wheels and watch the uh, the hub spin. I'm using a multimeter, uh, not a multimeter, I'm a micrometer, micrometer to see the end play. We're within like a millimeter or two. So 
I'm fitting up my homemade steering toggle. I just, uh, I just put the electrical connections inside after I pulled the fuse out just in case. I shorted it and scared the crap out of myself. This is the first time we're actually fitting it on the car, so if I fail miserably, you'll be the first to know. Thank you.